Welcome to the Cherries TV. <laughs> welcome to the Cherries TV. My name is Abby and I'm a fragrance lover. I love anything that smells, feels, and smells good. You guys, welcome back to another video. By the title of this video, you already know it's about to get down. But before we get into the video, are you subscribed to this channel? Are you subscribed? If you're not subscribed already, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't get alarmed. I'll give you some time to subscribe. Are you subscribed yet? Welcome to the family. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you're new right, here, my name is Abby. And on this channel, we talk about fragrances. Anything that has to do with smelling good, feeling good, that's what we talk about. And on Mondays, we do lifestyle content. And if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. You will not regret it. All right, you guys. So today, I'm going to be sharing some popular fragrances that I will probably never buy or never have in my collection. And um, just a disclaimer, if this is your signature scent or if this is your wedding day scent or your favorite scent, your husband got it, your wife got it for you, your partner got it for you, don't be alarmed because this is just how I feel. You know, fragrances are subjective and they do smell different on different people. And what you like is not what I like. And I might like it on you. I just don't like it on me. It just doesn't work. So I just wanted to put that out there so that you guys don't get in your feelings. Um, it's just that a lot of people want to know popular fragrances that I don't like. So I decided to make a video for you guys. All right, you guys, before so we get into this right. video, I just want to do a quick shout out to Arc Chill Ella Gear um, Blanket for sending me this cool chilling blanket. Now, I did take it out the packaging. Um, it is huge. I want to say it is an extra large. Um, it kind of looks like it's thin but it's actually a little heavy and it is super cooling. Like every single time you touch it, it feels cool. It doesn't get warm at all. It is one of the perfect cooling blankets. I never really thought about getting a cooling blanket, but it makes sense because I live in Florida and it is extremely hot. This has been my best friend the past couple of weeks. I've been loving this blanket. It is super, super good. The moment I received it, I unpacked it, I washed it and I put it on my body. It was really hot and you know, it gets like to 80 to 90 degrees here. And this blanket really came out and showed out. It's my first cooling blanket and trust me, I already ordered two more and it's on Amazon. So you can get Amazon Prime two day shipping. Go ahead and shop this beautiful, beautiful gray cooling blanket. I'll put all the information of this blanket in the description box below and I'll leave a link as well for you guys to shop. It's pretty affordable. And if you are living in a hot area like I am, you're gonna wanna get this blanket for real. Especially if you're trying to save the money on the AC. All right, you guys, so let's get right into this video. So I'm gonna be sharing seven fragrances. Seven is a lucky number, so I decided to go with seven. First fragrance that I'm gonna be sharing is Gucci Bloom. Um, Gucci Bloom is a fragrance that I probably would never have in my collection. Why? It's because it is a overly floral fragrance. Now y'all know I love my floral fragrances, but I like a good floral that is extremely creamy or that is fruity. I don't like a floral that is just straight up floral and sometimes just floral and powderiness. You gotta have some depth, some sweetness, some woodiness for me. And for that one, it doesn't fit in my lifestyle. I feel like it is a little bit more grown. I feel like if I'm wearing Gucci Bloom, I have to be wearing all white all the time or I have to be wearing heels all the time. I have to be done up all the time. And in reality, I am not done up all the time. Sometimes I'm, I'm, you're gonna see me, if you watch my vlogs, you would know that I'll probably put on I, I always put on a fragrance just I, I always smell good but I'm not gonna be putting on makeup all the time I'll probably put on a, a pair of sunglasses or my glasses and pull my hair back my natural hair and then call it a day I am not done up all the time so it's that's the type of vibe that fragrance give me and I'm not in that headspace right now for that type of fragrance I would like to be but right now it's not a fragrance that I will probably 
pick in my collection. The next fragrance is Jimmy Choo Fever. Now Jimmy Choo Fever was super popular back in 2020 and um, in early 2021s. It is a beautiful fragrance. Um, when I first smelled it, I was like, okay, this is beautiful, but I, I didn't get the hype. Um, these are some overhyped fragrances, in my opinion, when I first smelled it. And then I revisited again and I was just like, mm, this one is beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong, it is beautiful, it's pretty, it smells amazing on people, but on my skin, it just does not work. It is a little bit too sweet for my liking and I don't know what it is about that fragrance that just gets me oh mm. and the bottle is beautiful I love the name it's if, when I think about fever I think about heat I think about hot and it's not giving that to me it's just mostly giving me like synthetic sweetness and it's not that type of fragrance that you probably will see in my collection now you guys know that your fragrance palette does change every almost six months so i might not like it now i might like it in the fall but i've tried it um for a year now and it's just not my cup of tea so i don't think that i would like it come fall time but you just never know and that fragrance is one that i've tried to like it's extremely popular all the girls are liking it they're always hyping it up but i just don't quite see the hype not yet at least the next fragrance is dior um ms dior now when I first smelled Miss Dior back in 20, I want to say 2012 or 2011, um, I was in high school, I was about to graduate, and I was looking for a scent for me to wear for graduation. And I smelled that fragrance and I fell in love with it. But of course, I didn't want to ask my parents. Um, I know if I asked them, they would have given it to me, but I was on my own. Um, I wanted to do things on my own, I mean. Um, and when I was looking at it, I was like, mm, I love it, I love it, I love it, I want it, but I just could not put my finger on it as to why I did not pull the trigger. Fast forward back now, kind of wish that I got that one because now that I'm smelling the, the ones that they have now, it's just not hitting like the OG did. And I could still smell the OG um, like in my scent memory, when I smell the new ones, I kind of still smell the old, what the OG did smell like. Like it kind of makes me remember how the OG smelled like. And every time I smell the new ones, I'm just, I just get mad all over again. Now, Fragrance Net did send me one of the newer formulations of Miss Dior, the EDP. I had it. I thought it was beautiful. I recommended it to people, but for me, my personal use, I didn't like it. And I gave it to one of my friends because she was head over heels for it. And I understand why, because it is pretty, but it's kind of hard to get the OG out of my head because that one was prettier. It was more refined. It was long lasting. It was just like something about it that I could not get out of my head. And the newer ones was just not giving it to me at all. Unfortunately, the girls are hyping up these new ones and I don't get the hype. Um, I kind of wish that they smelled the original because if you smell the original, you will understand what I'm talking about. And I just feel like it's not hitting like it's hitting. So that's something that would never be in my collection, unfortunately. Now, the next fragrance that will probably never make it to my collection um, is Chanel Number no. 5 EDP. Now, Chanel Number no. 5 is a very aldehydic head fragrance it is super powdery it's super enamelic in my opinion it is gorgeous but it's not gorgeous for me it is very dated as well in my opinion and that's why i feel like they brought out le premier um and i think the fresh one or something like that those ones are beautiful i had premier but my mom took that one and they smell amazing, but I feel like the original number five is just not my cup of tea. I don't think it will ever be my cup of tea because it's just too strong. I literally feel like even if I spray it in the air and I walk through it, it will still be a little too strong for my liking. Um, it is too strong. I don't like that part of that fragrance. Um, I do wish that it was more prettier in a sense where they amped up the vanilla instead of the powdery and aldehydes. Maybe I would like it. Now that's what they did for the Le Premier and that's why I like it, but my mom took that one. But as far as the original Chanel EDP, y'all can have that because baby it's not my cup of tea, the number five at least. Um, it is beautiful on other people though, don't get me wrong. But on me, baby? No. Moving on to the next fragrance. Moving on to the next fragrance. 
Viva Volsi by, um, uh, is it Valentino? I don't know if it's Valentino, but if it's Valentino, maybe I'll just put a picture up or something. Yeah, that's something I would not wear. Um, I don't know what it is about that fragrance. First of all, does it last? And I, if y'all know me, I don't mind a fragrance that don't last extra, extra long because I like to switch out my fragrances. I don't think it lasts long enough for me to have it. Now, other people say it smells amazing, they like it, but for some reason, I think it's just a, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta do tuberose well, and I think that one has tuberose in it. Don't hold me on that one, but. If it is, it's probably that one that's throwing me off. Um, it's just not it, and then when I do spray it, it's very light, I don't really smell anything. I've never complimented anybody that wore it. Um, I've smelled it on someone and I just was like, yeah, I don't like how that smelled. So I really never really blindly complimented someone on it because I genuinely really don't like that fragrance. I would love for it to smell nice on somebody else, but when I smell it on somebody else, I'd just be like, yeah, okay, that's that fragrance. I don't really, really like that fragrance. It's one that I'm sure it smells amazing on you because you know our nose palettes are different, but it's just one that I never gravitate, gravitated to. I love the um, packaging. I love the campaign behind it. I love me some Gaga, but I just don't like the actual juice of the fragrance. So now this one is one that I really wanted to like. Um, this fragrance is from Prada and it's Prada Candy. I really wanted to like that fragrance, but they were not lying when they said product candy. It does smell like candy to the point that it's extremely, extremely, in my opinion, synthetic and it is headache inducing. Um, now that one, I have smelled it on people and the sillage was very beautiful. And I've said to them like, you smell really nice. But for me, it's a little bit more, it's a little too juvenile in my opinion. Don't like it. It's just something about it that just, irks my nerves when I spray it on my skin. The moment it hit my skin, it's just not giving. And I would love to like it because the bottle is just gorgeous in my opinion, but it's just not my cup of tea. Now, if it's your fragrance, if it's your cup of tea, I am not trying to throw shade. I just don't like it for me personally. And the next fragrance and the last one is Bitter Peach. Now, y'all know your girl go hard for a Tom Ford fragrance. But, not that one. Now the packaging is beautiful. The bottle is gorgeous. It's drop dead gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's a nice orange. It's a nice classic Tom Ford bottle. I really love the bottle, but when I smell the juice, when they said bitter peach, they weren't lying. I like more of a juicier peach, like even a white floral peach. But that peach right there is just too sickly sweet it smells like a syrup you know how honey tastes honey is so sweet that sometimes to me it doesn't taste sweet it kind of tastes bitter um that is how i feel when i smell bitter peach it is just too much um now it smells amazing on people and i have dupes of it i've worn it i like it on people i don't like it on me it kind of smells like cough syrup or a cough drop which is not what i want to smell like I, don't, I would rather smell like a vanilla cake versus a cough drop. And it is a beautiful bottle. If you ever see it in my collection, just know that somebody sent it to me or I found the bottle for $2 and I got it because I just like the bottle. That's the, that's the only way you'll find it in my collection because I don't think that that fragrance will be a love ever in my collection. It's just not it when it comes to a fragrance that i have in mind like if i want to smell like something i want to either smell very sweet or creamy or sexy but not bitter you know what i'm saying and it is one of those fragrances that will go sour on your skin if you're that type of person now it's rare but it can happen and that was it for the video you guys thank you so much for joining me here yet again for another video thank you so much arch chill l gear blanket for sponsoring this portion of the video um you guys don't forget to get y'all cooling blankets and it just keeps me very cool so if you're looking for the perfect cool cooling blanket if you're looking for the perfect cooling blanket then look no further girl because i got you right here